Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to accurately graph a parabola. So suppose that we're given the equation of some parabola, say y equals x squared minus x minus 6. And we want to know how to accurately graph it, and efficiently too, is the ultimate goal. Well, before we do any actual graphing, there are two pieces of information that would be helpful. One is to know where the vertex of our parabola lies, and the other is to know where the x-intercepts lie. We'll start with the vertex, since that's the easier of the two. The x-coordinate of the vertex is given by negative b over 2a. We're assuming that we are given a parabola of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, our b is negative 1. So negative times negative 1 is just 1. And our a is positive 1. So we end up with an x-coordinate of 1 half. Let's go ahead and mark that down. Now to find the y-coordinate of that, we simply need to plug this into our equation. So y-coordinate is going to be 1 half squared minus 1 half minus 6. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. And we're going to go ahead and convert 1 half into fourths just to make it easier. And we'll do the same for minus 6 multiplying both the top and bottom of this fraction by 4, get negative 24 fourths. Okay, now we simply need to add up these numbers and then we'll have our vertex. So 1 minus 2 is negative, negative 1, negative 25 fourths. Okay, and if you want to make it a little bit easier to find on a graph, you can convert this into an improper fraction or a mixed fraction rather, and we get negative six and one fourth. Great. So we have x coordinate of one half, and we want to go down to negative six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a fourth. So there's our vertex. And you might be wondering why we would need to know where the vertex is. It's important to know because the nature of a parabola is that it will be symmetric about the vertex. So any y-coordinate on the right half of the parabola will be mirrored by y-coordinate on the other half. So let's move on to the other piece of information that I said would be helpful, and that is the x-intercepts, or where the parabola crosses the x-axis. And the easiest way to do that is to factor our equation, if it can be factored. If it can't be factored, then we need to use the quadratic formula. But here we'll keep it simple. It turns out this factors to x minus 3 times x plus 2. And what that tells us is our x-intercepts are at the x-coordinate of 3 and minus 2. So we'll go ahead and mark this down. Minus 2. And you notice we're already starting to see some symmetry here. Because each of these x-intercepts is 2.5 units away from the x-coordinate of our vertex. And from here, if you just want to be extra careful, you can plug in a few more x-values in the, the equation and then get some more points. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll start with, let's say, uh, x equals 2. We get 2 squared is 4, minus 2 is 2, minus 6 is negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. If we plug in negative 1, we should get the same value because of our symmetry that we discussed earlier. So negative 1 squared is 1 minus negative 1 is 2, minus 6 is negative 4. Perfect. So if you want to be more accurate, you can continue to draw more individual points 
But once you're satisfied, simply connect the dots. And there we have it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to accurately graph a parabola.